Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to welcome you to a very special Industry Fido Talk keynote. My name is Michael Rada. I'm human. And I'm the founder of Industry 5.0. And what I would like to talk with you about is about the footprint. The footprint we leave behind. Because I think that our footprint and footsteps should be green, no matter how heavy our business is. So, do you know what is Industry 5.0? It is the first industrial evolution ever led by man, by human, in fact. Industry 5.0 restores the missing connection between nature and human-made ecosystems. And there is more. I was asked for many times all over the globe, how is it with the time and money? Is it profitable? to do industry 5.0 and to apply the principles. Here you see how everything started. It started with zero. And today, today we are speaking about 1.5 quadrillion US dollars, a number with 18 zeros. And what was there on the timeline? On the first day, on December 1st, 2015, Industry 5.0 was born. Not because somebody pay money, but because I did understand that a change is needed. And 10 years later, we are here. Again, no investment was needed. No funding, no incentives, no charity. Just the work of our hands. And hands are something which are very valuable because we are frequently born with those. We are giving those to do something meaningful. And we don't need the giants who tell us just the numbers are important. So this is why it is important to understand that the giants start to shrink, when the humans start to grow, and we can grow many ways. When you see this logo, you are probably on the right path. We are building wasteless world for all. And we use a methodology, a simple one, called 6R. We have to recognize that something must not become waste reconsider what to do with that and realize if we do right we don't need to reduce reuse recycle anymore because there will be no waste as i said at the very beginning on december 1st 2015 i was sitting in exactly in this office in the middle of a city called pilsen and I have nothing. Today, there is a network of 122 ambassadors helping to introduce Industry 5.0 principles in 120 countries on the global maritime ecosystem and even in the outer space. And I'm so happy that hands can deliver so much when the will is there. And trust me, I have no other will than to build a wasteless world for all. This is why I'm here. I'm so happy that Nahid Atuna organized this event and invited me. I'm really honored to be again in Turkey and hope that soon I will not only stay on the airport of Istanbul going to Singapore, but I will be in the country helping the country and the people to become wasteless. We can divide the image of the world. We are living in a wasteful world, in a world when valuable brands 
are nothing comparing to wasteless world value. We are living here in the times where companies are being presented to have billions. And still, even if all of them get together, they do not reach the value of wasteless world. We are living here listening about the depths, about the global economy, which is based on debt. Not understanding that it is not the debt, but the surplus which can make us independent. We are feeding the unicorns, not knowing that the living cycle of a unicorn is very shorter than two years. Because the unicorns survive only if they are fed by investors' money. And after that, they just go to slaughterhouse. We have here a list of founders who created a company and companies and funds hunting for more, creating the wasteless world, wasteful world in the times where wasteless journey is understood. We look at the banks which says that the waste volumes will grow not understanding that preventing waste happen does not cost anything, just a change of mindset. We are looking at the biggest and most wealthiest companies in the world, BlackRock, and looking who own it. Not understanding that Industry 5.0 is not owned by a single person and at the same time it is the heritage to 8 billion we can compare the wealth of the wealthiest in the world and still even if they count all their wealth together not a single one is able to even touch and buy what has been created by a human. We, many people, adore Apple. And I am sure the founder did not create it because of money, but because of change which he would like to deliver. So did I create it, Industry 5 at all. You know, we are living in the world where the poorest of all are the rich ones. Why? Because you know they have only money, but nothing else. They need ladders to climb up, to look outside of the box. They live in fear that they will lose the money, that they will lose what they gained for all their lives, because it was presented and they presented themselves that more is the only criteria of success. But in fact, more is nothing comparing to meaningfulness. And I would like to ask you, be kind to the rich, because you know they have nothing except for the money. So let them feel how meaningfulness looks like. Do you know what are the five most profitable industries in the world? You can guess, but number one will probably loose of your hands, even if you ask artificial intelligence or Google or any other uh, clever module, including Wikipedia, you will probably not get it right. Because the most profitable industries usually do not share any numbers. But I can tell you who they are. 
the most profitable industry in the world is the war industry. The second most profitable industry in the world is the crude oil industry. Third one is waste industry. Then came drugs and slavery. And if you look at this list, can you imagine what they are built on? What is their business model? I will answer this. In a war, it is death and destruction. In crude oil industry, it's environmental, environmental burden. The waste industry create a global landfills. And in drugs, they create addicts ready to kill if they do not have their drug. And human trafficking, Human trafficking create people without meaning. They live meaningless life. They are like waste and being wasted all over the globe. I prepared an example of how of the development of our industries. Example on how the wasteful world is running and working. Looking from today's on, I need to repair a tire on my electric unicycle. So I bought a tool last year. It was broken after just one and only repair. Then I remembered I have another tool which I bought a few years before that. I found it and after just six uses, it bends. Then I went home to my father and mother and I asked the father, do you have something which I can repair my tire? And he said, yeah, let me think. I have here something from the 60s. You can try. I did. It was not broken. It was used many, many times. And it will be used because it's a heritage. You know, uh, there is a lot of, in, in 20, for 2025, there is more than 1,000 events referring or dedicated to Industry 5.0 and ours. 300 of them already happened. And I compared together with the organizer. What is the difference when Industry 5.0 fake is being presented and when the original is there, like on today's event? It's quite interesting to look at the pictures because the numbers do not lie. And if there is a meaningful content if there is an event which is Industry 5.0 approved, the orange shows what is the resonance, what is the impact, what is the number of paid visitors, because it's skyrocketing comparing to fake, which unfortunately is here and use the term Industry 5.0 only as a buzzword and sales tour, never using the logo. Speaking about the fake, if you will invest in Industry 5.0 fake, you will be in loss because it does not deliver results. The only who benefit from it is the person or the company who sell the fake to you because you pay for it and they have no obligation. With Industry 5.0 original, you start close to zero and you grow every single day. You grow to be more profitable without leaving negative environmental impact or social economical impact at the same time. 
just one week ago, I received a very special message from one of the organi events organizers. He said, Mr. Rada, we would like to invite you to our international conference, but you know, we cannot pay you more than 25,000 euro for your keynote. How we came to this amount, you know, we ask, we are asking artificial intelligence every time, what is the value of a speaker? And we ask it, what is the value of Industry 5.0 founder? And this is what we receive. The artificial intelligence large language model. Analyze it and analyze your work in three steps or three segments. And we realize that no matter how much money we will offer you, it will not be enough. And you know, I have never, ever received similar message. I don't use AI tools. I watch them, but intentionally do not use them. But this response was very interesting to me. Already on the last event, one year ago, I introduced the wasteless legal framework. So I will not repeat it. You can print it and you can use it. But please never forget that there is no waste if we do not waste. And that the wasting is not a feature of a product or material, but the result of human behavior. Knowing that it's important to understand that speaking about waste industry 5.0 does not speak only about the physical waste, but about social, urban process and the wasting of time. All of these wastes can be prevented using the same methodology, which I introduced already on the very first day when I launched industry 5.0 because I did so after two years of implementing the principles, which everybody says they are impossible to implement. But everybody, every single project proved that it is more than possible to prevent waste happen. The ladies and gentlemen, I am a logistician for more than 35 years. And still, I do not wear any watch. Do you know what, why? Because the right watch, which I will wear, was not introduced yet. It looks like that, and it will tell you, don't waste time. I am sure you understand what I have to say. My name is Mike Rada. I am a human. And for 12 years, I am building wasteless world for all without leaving a dirty footprint behind. I step carefully. I walk instead of running. I do not show doubt. I speak silently to all of you. I use the language of efficiency, which I spoke from my heart to the hearts of audience. And I hope I reach your heart today. Let me wish you have a nice time, free of waste and wasting in all its forms. Stay safe, be free, and be human. Bye-bye.